So recently I've had a few of you ask what we're up to as a family and having a bit of an update conversation. So I thought this week I would take advantage of the video format and not do so much of a teach but just give you an update on where we're at as a family and Theology Now ministry and maybe take a little look forward into the seasons ahead as well. So for the first year plus of COVID, we had 10 people in our house and that was an interesting challenge and it was wonderful and it was busy. For the last number of months though, we have been down to four, just myself, Teresa, Charlie and Bella in the house with all the others moving out. So I'll give you a quick update on what that looks like. Scott and Lydia, when they first got married, they lived with us here in the little suite above the garage. Uh, a few months ago, they moved out to an apartment in town, and now the last few weeks, they've actually moved to a little acreage house just outside of town. They're renting that on a friend's property, and it's a great deal. So that's a win-win for them and for us, and they are loving it. It's a great location and a good venue for them. Scott's business is still uh, bubbling away, Beeston Block, with his fine meats. Uh, over the winter months that is dialed down a little bit and he's subsidizing that with some construction and Lydia is also running her own business as a nutritionist and also working at the hospital in Salmon Arm looking after the folks there with their nutrition needs. So Scott and Lydia uh, are doing really well and still loving life around this area. Taylor has also moved out. He's renting an apartment with Lewis, um, but Taylor is still at the moment recovering from ACL surgery. He is doing a lot of music and online music production. He was recently down at the coast doing some recording. Uh, he's doing a course through some local business ventures to upgrade his uh, leadership and entrepreneurial skill set, and really just trying to work hard, trying to recover from surgery and doing some other things around town as well to uh, keep paying the bills. So he's he's doing well, he's healthy and uh, yeah, he's enjoying life there with Lewis. So Lewis is working in construction and he is going for his level four red seal, uh, hopefully within the next year and just loves life on the job site and working hard with that and enjoying his friends and his volleyball around the area. Ross has also moved out. He originally moved out with his cousin Hunter who had been living with us for a while during COVID and they moved into a friend's basement suite and uh, Hunter has subsequently moved back to Calgary and another friend has moved in with Ross and he is working at Cal Tire and is going to be doing some mechanic studies as well pretty soon and seems to be enjoying that and working hard and sort of running Cal Tire, I guess, down near Cal Lake there. So that's Scott and Lydia and Taylor and Lewis and Ross. Bella is still living at home for now and has finished most of her high school and so she is working pretty much full time and studying full time in the hair salon down in Vernon there and enjoying that thoroughly. So she's in grade 12 and coming to the end stages of that education and then launching into her hair career. Uh, Charlie is still at home obviously, he's in grade 6 doing the French Immersion program at Harwood and is enjoying that. He's also enjoying some tennis and just lots of uh, ski time up at the hill this winter time. So all in all, the kids are doing really well. So we've gone from a big house of 10 down to there's only four of us. Teresa is working really hard doing a little business of hers which is house management and housekeeping up at the top of Silver Star for a few properties. And that keeps her really hopping, especially this time of year. And so the rest of us sometimes jump in to help out a little bit with that. And also just enjoying life around the property and at home here for just now. And then myself, I am doing this. I'm also doing some uh, contract teaching for our Alliance District for some of the ordinands that are going through their theology program. Um, I'm also doing some teaching occasionally at different churches around the area. And my main endeavor right now is I'm working on my master's thesis towards my MTH. And that takes a lot of brain power and uh, concentration. So that will be on the cards for the next few months. So Theology Now is going to keep running as I'm doing this and then hopefully as COVID restrictions loosen up even more, be getting more into the local church to do Theology Weekends and to enjoy that with local churches to have real concentrated times of learning and teaching and uh, community together. Looking ahead, we're also considering um, our 
future plans towards Scotland and they are still somewhat on the table. We're trying to figure out the how and the when and the where, but that is still in our minds to try and make a move to Scotland sometime in the next year or two. And so in conjunction with that, we are also considering downsizing uh, from our nice house here on the hill, which we've absolutely loved, but looking at other options and ideas to downsize, simplify, so that when we come to uh, a move to Scotland, then things are much simpler and a bit of a more nimble package to deal with. So a lot to keep us occupied and busy and looking after each other. One of the things that I've been learning, which is really interesting recently, is uh, we obviously as parents pray for our children and each day we pray that God would give them wisdom and lead them on his path and surround them with his favour. Now if I had to write out the answers to these prayers I would have chosen a certain path for a lot of my kids and how the prayers would be answered and how the next steps would be taken. Well thankfully that is not how this works because God inevitably brings a much better scenario, a more interesting set of circumstances, new challenges, ideas and opportunities their way which I could never have seen or organized but in God's kindness he brings this into our lives and I think that's just the way with God is that we have certain perceptions and ideas of how things ought to be the things he should be doing and yet God is so much more capable and comprehensive and creative and loving and generous than we are and so he provides that much more doesn't he and brings in options that we had never seen coming so we're going to keep praying for our kids and still keep trusting that God will answer our prayers in all kinds of creative and unexpected ways and we trust that for ourselves and for our families I also want to take this opportunity to really sincerely thank those of you who are patrons of Theology Now that your generosity and your support, your kindness and love uh, through those resources are an immense blessing and have allowed us as a family to continue on in this season and to flourish and to just be blessed and sense God's kindness and his generosity towards us through you and so please be assured of our gratitude and our prayers and our love for your partnership in the ministry of theology now and with uh, with our family so we're blessed and hopefully this little update will um, be of some interest to you and I'll continue on next week as we're actually going to jump into a new series of thoughts as we look into the book of Colossians and try and learn some great truth from, uh, from the text there. Okay, till next time then. Peace.